Thank you so much for your invitation to Fertility House Summit. I feel really deeply honored. First of all, I would like to introduce myself and let you know how the MFM project in Germany came into being. I'm a medical doctor. I live in Munich. I'm married and I have two adult children, a daughter and a son. Everything began in the early 80s when I wrote my doctoral dissertation about fertility, fertility awareness and natural family planning. It was one of the very first theses about NFP in Germany. At that time, I was a young woman, medical student, and thought I had sufficient knowledge about what was going on in my body. But in the course of this dissertation, I had to realize there were quite a lot, as I call it, secret codes of my body, which up to this time I had no idea about. But this knowledge was fantastic and gave me a great insight into my own fertility. And I was quite aware and quite sure at that time, this should be common knowledge, not only for medical doctors, but for every woman. Right from the beginning, I had the deep wish to spread this wonderful knowledge. So I started to give <laughs> university lectures, first for medical students and later on for social work students, with the title my body's silent language. I have continued to give these lectures with great success right up to today. As these social worker students were lay people, I had to find lots of pictures, paraphrases, symbols, little stories to make uh, them understand the rather complex facts about their fertility. These students were emotionally touched and enthusiastic. Their common reaction was, why weren't we told this 10 years earlier? And you can imagine getting this reaction term after term and year after year. I couldn't stand it any longer and decided to put this lecture in a written form. So I wrote a book for girls to make this information available not only for women but also for teenagers and young girls. At that time, my intention was to support mothers by means of a lecture based on this book. After the first lecture, this was 16 years ago, these mothers Imagine all of them were adult women. All of them had already experienced a childbirth. These mothers were really emotionally touched because probably for the first time in their life, they got a holistic understanding of what was going on down there in their pelvis. And probably for the first time in their life, they realized my body, my fertility, is something really precious. Having an 11-year-old daughter myself at that time, I was quite aware about the problems surrounding sex education at school. For example, the first contact with sex education for my 10-year-old daughter at our local primary school was a two-day workshop about sexual abuse. And I think this was a, really a definite negative introduction to this issue. Back to the mothers in the first lecture, they begged me to teach their daughters in a similar way because they felt mere knowledge-based education was not enough to tell the girls about the great things that will happen in their bodies as they approach puberty. So I designed a six-hour workshop for girls called The Cycle Show to look for my body's secret code. 
and this was the beginning of an unbelievable development. First, there was only a project for girls. Target group are 9 to 12 year old girls. Last year of primary school and first year of secondary school. When some boys started to protest that they were missing out on information that the girls were getting, in 2003 we started with our project for boys under the same terms and conditions, targeting 10 to 11 year old boys. I do not have time to tell you much about the boys show, but I will tell you it is called Agents on a Mission and has a James Bond style journey through the male autonomy with lots of physical activities to learn about the changes in puberty, moving on and learn about the female body and how an egg is fertilized. Because of great demand, three years ago, we started with our project for young people at age 14. The aim of this workshop is to provide young people with good information about fertility, fertility protection, and how contraception works in their body. We want to encourage them to calculate risks and balance reasons and make their own decision with our good information. And just now, we started with our project for primary school, boys and girls, with the title My Body's Wonder Workshop. Part and parcel of MFM project is a parent information session. We lead this session for the parents and the teachers before we run the children's workshop, providing them with the same information as the boys and girls. We want to bring them in and we want to encourage them to take over the responsibility to talk with their children. Having the same vocabulary, they are able to talk about the subject without embarrassment. And this is important for real sustainability. This slide gives you an impression about the growth of MFM project during the last 16 years. Only last year we had about 67,000 uh, participants in about 5,000 courses or events in Germany. And here you can see last year we had about 21,000 girls who took part in the cycle show and about 17,000 in the boys project and about 16,000 participants in the parent information session. At the moment MFM project is the most attended and most popular sex education program in Germany for this target group for young boys and girls and all this without any marketing and advertising is only a recommendation of the parents and of the schools. At present, we have 330 trained uh, trainers, certified trainers in Germany, 240 women and 90 men for the boys project. The trainers work freelance, the workshops are available for a fee, which is paid by the customers, that means by, by the um, parents or uh, the schools. Meanwhile, the MFM project is spreading over several European countries. You can see France, Belgium, Netherlands, Switzerland, Austria, Hungary, Latvia, Northern Italy, and in 2012, we had the first trainer training in Birmingham, and I'm proud and happy. There are five certified trainers at the moment in UK for both projects, four women and one man. And now we are on the threshold of a sex education revolution in China. Next week, I go to China for the third time and it's really very exciting. But what is the 
innovative idea that makes MFM project so successful. May I take you along to a parent information session? Imagine you all were parents. How do you feel emotionally when you think about your little daughter getting her first period? Are you looking forward to this day? <laughs> of course not. All of us, all of us, parents, public health authorities, teachers in school, everyone focuses on the numerous threats, risks and dangers which are associated with sexual maturation and puberty. And we all want to protect our young boys and girls against this dangerous fertility. There are lots of prevention measures and in some regions in Germany, pupils in primary schools have to pass a condom driving license. <laughs> and the theory behind is the more and the earlier young people know about contraception, the better they are protected. But I think we have lost sight of something very, very important. And this is something very simple, which can be applied to many circumstances in life. You will only pay attention and protect something which is of value for you. And here comes our basic philosophy. You can only protect what you value and respect. The appreciation of one's own body is the foundation on which every successful prevention activity is based. And we, the MFM project, we want to help young people to value and respect their own body. Therefore, we are here. This is the hypothesis which we have worked with for more than 15 years. When young people regard their own body as something valuable, as a treasure, they will automatically take better care of it. So becoming enthusiastic about one's own body must be the first step in sex education. What matters is not to protect young people from fertility, but to protect their fertility. When we teach young boys and girls right from the start about nothing else but the numerous threats and risks arising with sexual maturation, they will internalize this threatening and negative image of fertility and take it into their life. On the contrary, with a good knowledge and a positive attitude, towards fertility at the onset of puberty. They will later on be open-minded and automatically pay better attention to information about fertility protection and how contraception works. But what does this mean in practice? Starting at the right time is important. At the onset of puberty, when they are still children and open-minded and are able to marvel at something. Mere knowledge about biological facts is not sufficient. You will never have an emotional relationship with your hypothalamus or your pituitary gland or even more difficult to cherish something like the negative feedback mechanism of hormones. You cannot make somebody enthusiastic about the, the wonder in one's own body by just giving hard facts. Appreciation is a matter of heart. Here you can see the female ovary. This is our treasure box. Appreciation is a matter of heart. Feelings and emotions must be taken into account. In MFM project, 
it is very important to use the correct biological terminology. But it is always coupled with positive images, with comparisons, and with a language with which young boys and girls are familiar and can easily relate to. In other words, MFM Project provides biological, medical expert knowledge, presented and illustrated in an engaging way aimed at the emotional maturation of each age group. We use the biological diagram, here the female reproductive organs, but we combine them with a wonderful floor show of the stage of life. It's a rich mixture of colorful, beautiful materials. The girls are sitting around this floor show and experience what's going on in their body. We also use a multimedia approach with interactive elements, with age-appropriate props, storytelling and music. Thus, we encourage young people to use the correct vocabulary without embarrassment. And whenever in a girl's life she comes across the term female sexual organs, in her heart she will think of the stage of life. And whenever in a girl's life she comes across the term estrogen hormone, she will think back to the effects of the heart symbols used in the cycle show referred to as my best friends. And whenever in a girl's life she comes across the term vaginal mucus, <laughs> she will think it's the magic potion for sperm survival and an excellent sign of fertility, and a sign telling me my best friends, the estrogen hormones, are preparing my body. And now, imagine young girls coming out of the workshop with a bright smile on their face and telling us in the feedback sheet, I'm proud of being a woman, or I feel really good about it or uh, answering the question, what was the most important news today that I shouldn't feel ashamed of my menstruation or take good care of myself. We carried out an evaluation with 200 girls at the age of 12 and 13, about half of them had attended the cycle show one and a half year before. And as a result, you can see here, the girls who attended the cycle show, they were asked the opinion, to give the, the, the opinion to the statement, the physical changes in puberty bother me. And you can see the changes in puberty are significantly better accepted by those uh, girls who attended the cycle show one and a half year before. And the second result here, the statement, I feel comfortable with my body. The girls who attended the cycle show one and a half year before feel significantly more comfortable in their body compared with the control group. And last, the girls who attended the cycle show were asked to answer to the statement, I find it terrible to get my first period. And you see that girls who attended the cycle show find it significantly less negative when uh, they think about getting the period compared with the control group. So I would like to finish my talk by taking you back to the boys and girls program. Both programs end up with the knowledge that every one of us was a double champion from the first moment of our life, made of the champion sperm out of half a billion in an ejaculate and from the queen egg 
out of 400 eggs present at puberty. And my deep wish for you to finish my talk, please never forget you are, every one of us, you are a double champion. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>